Yeah. Don't you think mainly recognition that under the Uniform Practice Code, a crude interest is paid by the buyer to the seller right. for corporates and munis? We calculate from last interest payment date up to, but not including, we use 30-day months. Govies are goofy, T plus uh, one, and yeah. they uh, use actual calendars. But every once in a while, you have to calculate. So anyways, that's what I was just commenting on. That's right. Uh, one last thing about the tax equivalent yield on many exams, especially 65, 66, they may not ask you to compute it. Yay for you math anxious folks. Yeah. But they'll ask you to recognize it, and it's spelled out all in words. It's not in mathematical form, form so it's yeah, harder yeah. to recognize. Right. Be careful yeah. about How about a crude engine? Want you one of those real quick? Uh, real quick. We know that interest on bonds are paid semi-annually. So let's just say January 1st, July 1st. So the point being is if an investor owns his bond and wishes to sell it, they are owed not only the market price of the bond, but all of this interest that has accrued since January, right? So this is our accrued interest, not artificial intelligence. Right? <laughs> now, as Dean just said, a very important to know, both corporates and munis, right? Accrue interest on a 3360 day. I, I tell people that corporate bond guys don't know this method. January, right. what days have 30, what days have 31, that kind of thing. They don't know uh, how they don't know how to do that. They want I tell them to that. check with somebody else in the class because I ain't gonna do it. If they're from That's the Midwest, right. they probably so they just make it simple and they just say every month's got 30 days in it. And the interest accrues up to the day before settlement, right? So you've got to first calculate what actual day is settlement, right? That day before that, then the accrued interest. So if we trade it, let's say on Tuesday, April 10th, right? So you got to then calculate when the settlement is, which would be Thursday the 12th. Sometimes they take it over the weekend. Be careful of that. Okay. So if you trade it on Thursday, it's not going to settle until Monday. Yeah. And you'll get interest, however, still up to that Sunday. Okay. Settlement does not include weekends. Accrued interest does. Mm -hmm. Okay. So be careful with that. So that's one definition. And the other one that Dean said, the gummies, the government securities, they use actual days. Somebody in the government actually learned that method, right? In kindergarten. <laughs> So they use actual days and it accrues up to the day before settlement. But since gummies are T plus one, the day before settlement is the trade date. I think that, Dean, is most important these I'm days. Do. I'm not hearing a whole lot of calculation. Me problems. neither. In fact, I used to tell people, don't even worry about it. But every once in a while, somebody says... Uh, they had to do that. So and every once in a while. There, yeah, it's a low probability. Wow. Low probability.